Zara is renowned for making it really easy to add colour graduations. First, select the object you want to fill with a colour graduation. Then select the fill tool. And now just drag across the object. You can adjust the direction or extent of the graduated fill by dragging the ends of the arrows. You can alter the colours either by dragging a colour from the colour line, like this, or by displaying the colour editor and selecting the end of the fill arrow you want to adjust. As you adjust the colour, you see the document change. And you can create a multi-stage graduation by dropping a colour on any position on the graduation arrow. And this colour point can be dragged the same way. And the colour editor can be used to adjust the colour as usual. The menu here provides a choice of different fill types. So this is a circular fill. There are many more types, including fractal textures. Normally, the colour editor shows an HSV way of picking colours. But if you right-click, you can select RGB sliders, or even a CMYK way of selecting colours. Perhaps the easiest way to load a photo is to drag it from your file explorer. Most digital camera images are very large, so you can only see a corner. We need to use the zoom feature to zoom out, using the view menu here. You can see just how large the photo is compared to the page size. Now we can resize it, as shown in earlier videos, and move it onto the page. If we zoom back to 100%, and this button is a really useful shortcut to zoom back to the previous setting, you can see it shows it as around 500 pixels wide here. The Zara Transparency tool is the most powerful of its type. I can adjust the transparency of any object by selecting it, going into the Transparency tool, and then adjusting the slider. But what's more, I can create a graduated transparency the same way as I create the graduated colour fill. Just drag across the object. And I can select the endpoints, and then adjust the slider here to alter the start and end transparency. And as with graduated fills, you can adjust the shape of the graduated transparency. So here's a circular transparency that's solid in the centre and fades to the outside. I will load an example clip art file. This is the clip art gallery button. There are many provided with Zara Extreme on the CD. The thousands of clip art files are organised into folders. I'm going to load an example sports car drawing. One obvious use for transparency is simulating glass, and the windscreen of this car does use transparency. But another use is to create reflections. And if I select the screen and go into the transparency tool, you can see it uses an elliptical transparency for the sunlight reflection. If I select the center control handle and hold for a second, you can see the elliptical shape. It's opaque in the center and transparent on the edges. If I move the transparency centre, it's like moving the reflection across the screen. I can adjust the transparency value at the edges by selecting an edge handle, and now altering the slider. And so here you can see the whole screen is mostly now opaque. Zara Transparency is a very powerful tool. The text tool is very simple. Just select the text tool, and click where you want to create a line of text and type. Alternatively, if you click and drag on the page, you create a text column. Now, as you type, your text will be formatted within the column. And I can just paste text from other applications to save typing, like this. I can adjust the column width by dragging on the end of the column width marker. Text objects are just like all other objects in Zara. I can enlarge using the selector tool and rotate the usual way. But I can still go back into the text tool and edit text, no matter what angle. And I can select regions of text by dragging, like you can in your word processor. And then whatever effect I select, be it a font or colour, applies only to the selected region.